Okay, hello, my name is Ardi, and we are going to solve practice problem 4.5 from Hate's book. Determine the nodal voltages in the circuit of figure 4.13. Okay, now we have 3 volt here. I add this because I'm looking from this, this answer. Because in my book, this is not lambda. So from this answer, I know that this will be 3 volt. Okay. So now we have this as reference. So the voltage here will be zero. And then right off the bat, we know that V1 is three volt from the ground. So I will have this V1 is equal to the value of this voltage source. So that will be three volt. Okay. So now we reduce that we are finding with three nodes only from four becomes three. We just need to find out V2, V3, and V4. Okay, let's do that. But for V2 and V3, we need to use super node. Why? Because this is a dependent voltage source and we cannot find the current that pass through it through some formula or whatnot. Okay, so I will have this here as our super node okay this here as our super node but first i want to uh, analyze the inside of super node first right so the inside of the super node so because this is a voltage source and the value is 0 0.15 vx that 0 0.15 Vx is just V3 minus V2. So I will have V3 minus V2 is equal to 0 0.15 multiplied by Vx. But Vx is V3 minus V4. So I will have V3 minus V2. That will be 0 0.15 multiplied by V3 minus V4 okay okay so now we can just simplify this algebraically so I will have V3 minus V2 that will equal to 0 0.15 of V3 minus 0 0.15 of V4 right I can move this 0 0.15 v3 to the left hand side and i will get 0 0.85 right so i'll have minus v2 plus 0 0.85 of v3 and then this to the left hand side so i will have plus 0 0.15 v4 and that all equal to zero let's save this as equation number one and this is from the inside of super node okay so now let's do what nodal analysis is by assuming the direction of the current so let's do this one this one this one this one and maybe this one okay so now we need to do kcl at super node kcl at super node okay and kcl set the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out and the currents that goes in there is this one and that one so i will have v1 v1 is 3 3 minus v2 divided by 1 okay and then this one will be 4 so i'll have plus 4 okay i think one more current i assume this going there and that's all right only two currents that goes into this supernova okay 
So for the current that goes out, I will have V3 minus 0 divided by 2. Okay, V3 minus 0 divided by 2. And then I will have V3 minus V4 divided by 4. V3 minus V4 divided by 4. Okay. Now let's get rid of the denominator by multiplying by 4. Multiplying by 4, I will have 12 minus 4 V2 and then plus 16, right? And then that will equal to, this will be 2 V3 and then this will be V3 minus V4, okay? So 12 plus 16 will be 28. And that 28 will equal to 4v2 plus 3v3 and then minus v4, right? Okay, I think that's the equation number 2. So to make it easier to read that equal 28 can be moved to the right hand side. And then let's do the last note here. We'll have KCL at not V4. Okay. And again, we have the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. This current is going in and this current also going in. This current is 3 minus V4 divided by 2 and this current is V3 minus V4 divided by 4 and that will equal to this current that goes out and that will be V4 minus 0 divided by 3 okay Getting rid of the denominator, we need to multiply this all by 12, right? And multiplying this by 12, 2 will cancel out into 6, right? So I need to multiply this by 6. So 18 minus 6, V4. And then this 4 will cancel out into 3. So I will have 3 V3 minus 3 V4. And then this 3 and 12 will yield into 4. So I will have 4 V4. Right? Okay, so now what can we do from here? Let's move this to the right hand side. Okay, that V3 is cancelled out. No, this is not V3. Okay, something that is wrong. So this will be V4. Right? Okay, be careful. We have to be careful. So I'll have 18 is equal to... Okay, minus 3 V3. And then plus, yeah, I think that will be 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 6, that will be 13 of V4. Okay. And let's have this as equation number 3. But for easier reading, let's move this 18 to the right hand side. Okay. So, Let's make this as a matrix. So here we will have from this one, I will have minus 1, 0 0.85, 0 0.15. Okay, from equation number 2, I will have 4, 3, and minus 1. And for the equation number 3, I will have minus 3, or not minus 3. This should be 0. 0 minus 3 and 13 because our factor here 
is V2, V3, and V4. Okay, and for the vector of the result, I will have 0, 28, and 18. Okay, let's get our Casio calculator set up. Okay, I will have this and we will use the equation mode and that will be three variables which is number two. Okay, let's put this in calculator. Minus one, 0 0.85, 0 0.15 and then zero. And then four and then three minus one and 28 and lastly i will have 0 minus 3 and 13 and then 18 okay hopefully i did not make any mistakes yeah okay that again 4.21 And y is 4.52 and z is 2.43. Hmm, is I'm making mistakes somewhere? Okay, let me know if I made any mistakes, but let's write just what we found. Okay, so I will have v2. V2 will be 4.22, okay. So I have V2 is 4.22 or 21, 21, okay. 4.214 and then V3 will equal to 4.52. Four point fifty three four, and then the last one I'll have two point forty three. I'll have V four is equal to two point forty three four. Two point forty three four, and this is the result that I got, but it's not the same as the answer key. So there must be some mistake somewhere or maybe the answer key is wrong. I don't know. So let me know in the comment which part that I did wrong because I did it twice and I got the same result. So yeah, I don't know. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.